Hello family and friends, we are back with another video and today I am decluttering. There is really no huge method to the madness. It's all over the house. I am decluttering things from one room to another, but I'm using my living room as my home base because it's on the main level. It has a nice amount of space and I like to watch my TV shows while I declutter and organize. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get started. When I sleep, you're next to me Even though you're my enemy in the beginning of the video, you saw a few bins with different labels on them, and that's pretty much the system that I'm using. I'm labeling containers, and I'm just grouping things together, and I'm throwing everything in those bins as I go through areas of my home and try to declutter them. I'm putting things in bags for giveaway, and yeah so no pretty labels or anything like that but just trying to get a good system for now hello my name is brianna and i have a family of five including myself my husband my three children two boys and one little girl and this channel is dedicated to family advice cleaning diys and so much more if that's something you're interested in please hit the subscribe button like comment and share as you see fit Okay, so I have moved on to my linen closet. It looks crazy. Honestly, it doesn't always look this crazy, but it looks really bad. So I pulled everything out of the linen closet. I brought it into the living room where my containers were so I could start organizing those items, putting them where I need them to go. I had things that needed to go in the linen closet as I washed, as I decluttered. So I wanted to go ahead and get that space together so I could just keep moving, I could have a flow and I would have a place to put the things that I had decluttered so far. So I wanted to give you a little background on how I came to this decluttering project and it's really because we just had so many things in our home that did not have a place to go and I also had pretty much exceeded storage. I mean I had so many items in so many places that I didn't really know what was in containers in the basement. I didn't really know how many things I had under my sink or in my closets or whatever. I couldn't find things and it began to become overwhelming and frustrating. So I decided that I wanted to be a little bit more organized. I wanted our home to have a flow and a system that made sense for our lives. And if we could get those systems in place, I feel like we could find a healthy balance between school, between work, between our businesses, and between our family time. So 
this was the motivation. I tried not to go out and buy anything. I'm using containers that I already had in the house. Some I'm repurposing, some I'm taking from other spaces. I may have to replace them, I'm not sure. But this is what's working right now. And yeah, I hope this motivates you to get going and start decluttering areas in your home, make systems and just take your time. Okay guys, so I have been sorting, decluttering, reorganizing for a while now. And I just kind of wanted to touch bases with you. I've been bringing things up from the basement so I can sort them, get rid of them. And I've just been putting labels on them like this. Nothing special right now. I will make something cute, but I don't need that right now. So I have a container with clothes that I'm keeping for Brayden, but he can't wear. I have an overflow of towels and bath mat sets. And then I have my original bins over here with outside things, decorative things for the holidays, spring, Easter, Valentine's Day, so forth, so on. And then other decor that's like glass, my um, vases, just glass containers, different things like that. And I have a bin over here with school supplies. And this was kind of just like, as I was going through, there were a lot of children's toys. So I threw them in this laundry basket. And these are things from the linen closet that I haven't put away or I don't have a container that I necessarily like. So this is where I'm at. I have some folded up sheets over here that I ordered some baskets for. I'm gonna put these in the linen closet by size. So we'll have a bin for full size sheets and we'll also have a bin for twin size. And then I also have my beach tiles over here. And originally I was going to put this in a container with like our travel stuff, neck pillows, beach towels, um, toiletry bags, just things that we typically use when we're going to the beach or on a vacation. And I don't know if I'm still going to do that, but I did leave them out. So this is where I'm at. I am very overwhelmed. I have a ton more things to declutter, but I did make a lot of progress. So next, I'm going to show you how many bags I have for donations. So right now, upstairs, I have one, two, three, four, five bags for donation. I have a baby tub, and I have a box of pictures, and I also have another box up underneath here with shoes and bottles and coats. So... I'm a little overwhelmed that I have this much stuff and I'm not done. Our rooms look crazy. Thank God they're clean as far as like, you know, they've been clean. They've been disinfected, but it's stuff everywhere. So this is the declutter 
organize and refresh for spring and here is the after of the linen closet it is still in progress but it looks 100 percent better so please make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next upload and i'll see you guys soon